we're going to be touring Vanita and Elmira. They're side by side out here west of Eugene. And we're starting right now. Welcome to our YouTube channel, everyone. My name's Lori House, and I'm a realtor with United Real Estate Properties here in Eugene, Oregon. And we're going to take you on a tour of Vanita and Elmira. And I'm Jamie Kenworthy, also a realtor with United Real Estate Properties here in Eugene. So let's go. Let's do it. The stretch between Eugene and Vanita is approximately 10 miles. On the drive, you will pass Fern Ridge Reservoir on your right, which I will talk more about later in the video. As you drive into Vanita, there are multiple grocery stores and shops for your convenience. You can get your grocery shopping done at Bymart, Grocery Outlet, or Ray's Food Place. If you love to shop at Costco, don't worry, it's only 18 miles away in Eugene. Vanita has it all. Ace Hardware, O'Reilly Auto Parts, the Dollar General, and get your coffee fix at Window Box Cafe or Hillbilly Espresso or a cup of Joe. If you have animals, be sure and check out the farm store. It's the local feed store. Benita has approximately 5,000 residents. As we drive in to Benita, there are multiple shops, restaurants, and local parks. There's Territorial Park, which has a great rock wall, and the Benita Skate Park. As we start heading through the Vanita neighborhood, I'm going to give you some stats. So as of September 2021, in the last 90 days, 56 homes have sold in the Vanita area. Average days on market is 16. Average list price is 391,000. Average sold price is 408,000. Out of the homes that were sold, home prices range from 203000 to 755000 and this excludes manufactured homes in parks.
If you are interested in being a member of the Grange, here is the Elmira Grange. And moving on to schools, here we have Benita Elementary, which is K through 5, and the teacher to student ratio is 22 to 1, and they have 369 students. At Elmira Elementary, there are grades K through 5. There is a teacher to student ratio of 19 to 1 and 270 students. Fern Ridge Middle School accommodates grades 6 through 8. And there's a teacher to student ratio of 23 to 1 and 344 kids. As we drive up to the Elmira High School, I'll tell you about a private school in the area, which is Countryside Christian School. And the teacher to student ratio is six to one, and they only have about six students from kindergarten through eighth grade. Now we're coming up to Elmira High School, which is grades 9 through 12. The teacher to student ratio is 19 to 1, and there's 396 students. Starting us off on our winery tour is Sarber Winery. Elhannon Vineyard at Sarver Winery was established in 1984 as one of the first growers of Pinot Noir and Pinot Gris grapes in the South Willamette Valley. From their own grapes, they produce single varietals, signature blends, rose, sparkling wines, and port-influenced dessert wines. A man named Dan Smith bought land in 1978, which would eventually become Sweet Cheeks Winery. He started farming the land and supplying grapes to local wineries. When the building in Junction City came up for demolition in 2003, Dan took a chance and relocated it atop the vineyard. Thanksgiving in 2005, those doors opened as the tasting room and marked the beginning of Sweet Cheeks Winery and Vineyard. And last but not least, Lavelle Vineyards, which is a winery and vineyard that offers wine tasting, vineyard tours, and special events. Located just outside of Eugene in Vanita, in, a, in the lush Willamette Valley. They produce Pinot Noir, Pinot Gris, Riesling, and feature a few additional sourced varietals. And here we are back to Fern Ridge Reservoir. Fern Ridge Reservoir is the largest lake in the Willamette Valley and is approximately 9,000 acres. It's ideal for water sports from paddlers, sailors, and boaters. You can fish for crappie, bass, and catfish. There are over 250 species of birds in the area, and in 1979, the southeast shore of the reservoir was declared a wildlife refuge. There are multiple parks and camping on the skirts of Fern Ridge. Perkins Peninsula Park with a boat ramp and fishing dock. Orchard Point Park with food, volleyball courts, water, craft rentals, and boat gas. Or roll up in your RV or travel trailer for lakeside camping at Richardson Point Park. Thanks for joining us on our tour of the Venita and Elmira area. 
we're ending our tour today here at Orchard Point. There's Fern Ridge Lake right behind us. It's not a really nice day, so we probably won't play in the water, but it's a great ending to a beautiful day. If you want to know any more about great places to live here in Lane County, we do all kinds of videos on small towns between Oak Ridge and Florence. So go ahead and watch that next video, our playlist on small town living. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell because we post new yeah. videos every Friday. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Oh, we'll see you next time. Say bye. Say bye. <laughs>